हेलो व्यूवर्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर श्री शिवाजी लॉ कॉलेज परभनी आई वेलकम यू इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल लॉ एजुकेशन वॉलेंटियर डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर आठ लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन प्रॉपर्टी लॉज फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरियस काइंड ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी In last lecture, we have discussed what is the concept of property. Friends, before you must subscribe this channel. Please subscribe this channel and please press bell icon to receive further notification on legal knowledge videos. So, friends, let's start with lecture. Friends. there is no hard and fast rule or criteria to classify properties in various kinds except movable property and immovable property friends the properties are categorized on the basis of their nature tangibility physical existence etc so let we see different kinds of properties the first kind of property is corporeal property and incorporeal property friends the corporeal and incorporeal property is differentiated on the basis of its corporeality see the corporeal is related to corpus corpus means the body friends when a particular property have physical existence it is called as it have the corpus therefore the corporeal properties means all those properties which have material existence the properties which have material existence can be called as a corporeal property because it have physical existence it have material existence it is also called as a tangible property because we can see it or we can perceive it through touch etc friends these rights available on corporeal property are generally in nature and that are permanently available to owner and such properties can be inherited also so the corporeal properties can be further classified into two categories these are movable property and immovable property friends the movable property means any chattel goods etc and immovable property means the land property or any house etc such properties can be called as immovable properties friends the person who has aggregate rights over such property that rights are called as property the rights over corporeal property are not unqualified these are subject to restrictions that can be imposed by government so these restrictions are two types of restrictions the first kind of restriction is the restrictions that are imposed by law or government in the interest of society and second restriction is encumbrance encumbrances on properties that are in the form of charges any right in the form of easement right etc then we must say 
the second type of property that is differentiated on the basis of corporate that is incorporeal property friends the incorporeal properties means those properties which have no corporeal existence or material existence so these are available in the form of ownership over such intangible rights or the things the intangible property cannot be seen it cannot be handled or such properties cannot be perceived by eyes or through our senses but we must understand them in the form of legal rights that are recognized by government or the legal system so such rights are again available in two forms first is jura in re elena and second is jura in propria friends jura in re elena means the rights which are available in the property which belongs to other person here the person who is entitled to enjoy jura in elena is not the owner of that property but he just enjoy certain or just hold certain rights in the property of another person and the nature of such right are the right that is created under mortgage or the lease right a charge resentment etc and this right works as a limitation on the proper uh, rights of property owner see then second right is jura in propria this is the proprietary right over a particular thing that particular thing may be material property or immaterial property so when a person enjoy a proprietary rights over uh, material or immaterial things such rights are called as a jura in propria propria so the material things we can see the physical objects etc and where the ownership possession use whatever the rights that are available over that material thing these are the proprietary rights of that owner but apart from that there are certain immaterial things also immaterial properties also where a person can exercise the rights and these rights are a proprietary rights see the material immaterial properties can be the immaterial creations of human brain human mind int human intellectual so it is also recognized as the property of that person so over that property that person can exercise proprietary rights and the nature of such rights are the rights relating to trademark copyrights patent rights etc so nobody can violate their rights and if somebody violates such rights it is not less than the theft or except uh, or the similar offenses now we are moving towards the second kind of property and this property is tangible and intangible property this category uh, this uh, classification is made on the basis of tangibility firstly we, we are going to discuss what is tangible property friends tangible property means the property which can be seen or touched this is the general rule by which we can identify whether a particular property is tangible or not so the tangible property means that which can be seen or which can be controlled through the possession and all the material objects or things are the subject matter of tangible properties that can be perceived by touch senses like eyes etc the subject matter of tangible property are movable goods like books tables money as well as the immovable properties like land house property etc so the property that can be seen the property that can be possessed that property can be physically controlled all such properties are called as a tangible properties friends then we must see what is intangible property intangible property means the property which cannot be seen which cannot be touched or which which can the existence of which cannot be perceived by our senses like touch eye etc so we must understand them 
uh, in the light of uh, rights that are recognized by legal system so the tangible property means the property which cannot be seen perceived through our senses touch etc the subject matter of tangible property are like copyrights trademarks goodwill reputation husband right or whatever the similar uh, rights of like nature but then friends we must say third kind of property and this third kind of property is movable and immovable property and see this classification is made on the basis of movability of property whether we can easily uh, move the property from one one plus to another plus friends firstly we are going to discuss what is movable property movable property means the property which can be easily moved from one plus to another plus but see there is no place for this definition in legal system there is no law which provides the definition of movable property in uh, this way you just uh, uh, remember this for and this is given for your understanding purpose only say the transfer of property act defines movable property in a different sense and it provides that the properties which are not immovable are called as movable property but this definition is not sufficient to provide the proper picture about what is movable property see therefore according to this definition all the properties which are not attached to land which are not permanently fastened to land that can be called as movable properties we must see <coughs> such properties therefore all goods can be called as movable properties and it includes all those properties which are specifically excluded from the definition of immobile property under the transfer of property act or the general clauses act 1897 these goods standing timbers and growing crops are also included into the definition of movable property so friends similarly section 3 of general clauses act 1897 it defines what is movable property and according to this definition movable property means the property of every description except immovable property see what the definition is that definition provides all kind of properties except immovable properties so but for in simple words you can find that movable property means the property which can be moved from one place to another place but immovable property is the property which cannot be moved from one place to another place without disturbing its original shape then we must see what is immovable property friends similarly for your purpose for your knowledge we can say that immobile properties means those properties which cannot be moved from one place to another place for example we cannot move our house from one city to another city see uh, the word immobile property means the things which are permanently fixed and which are not liable to be removed so that cannot be removed from that plus because that are attached to earth friends the properties which cannot be moved from one place to another person uh, place because of its permanent nature are called as movable properties section 326 of general clauses act 1897 also defines immovable property according to this definition immovable pro immovable property to include land things attached to land things permanently fastened to things attached to land and benefit to arise out of the land so we must know all these concepts exactly say the land we know the surface of earth portion of earth that is called as a land we must know what is things attached to earth things can be attached to earth by two way one is naturally rooted as like trees 
or the things embedded into earth like buildings etc so that are embedded into earth then we must need things permanently fastened to things attached to earth what the doors windows that attach that are attached to wall of houses buildings etc that are permanently fastened there therefore that are also made part of immobile property then things are the benefits that to arise out of the land it means whatever the benefits that arise out of that land like the right to way right to take water from canals rivers uh, fishery rights etc all these rights are included into the concept of immobile property this is definition but this definition specifically excludes some uh, properties from the definition of immobile property and these are as like the standing timbers grass and growing crops the reason is that such uh, crops timbers extra that are grown with intention to cut down intention to cut down with purpose to use it for different purposes like constructing buildings etc or grass is used to cut down or uh, for, for the cattle etc then we must see what is definition which is given under section 2 clause 6 of registration act and this definition is also similar like the definition under general clauses act 1897 and according to this definition friends immobile property includes certain properties as like land building hereditary allowances right to way right to light right to ferries fisheries and any other benefits which arise out of that land then land things attached to land things permanently fastened to things attached to earth so this is definition so but briefly you must understand you must remember that movable things means movable properties means the properties which cannot be moved from one place to another place and generally these are available in the forms of goods but immobile properties the major form of intellectual uh, immobile properties land building etc and in other sense the properties which cannot be moved from one place to another place that are called as immobile property see um, then we must see next kind of property and that is uh, public property and private for property see friends as we have discussed when a individual owns particular property exclu exclusively and he enjoy ownership rights possession right to exclude other etc and he is allowed or he uh, he is entitled to dispose that property also then such properties called as a private pro uh, property but public properties are those properties which are owned by public through public authorities government etc and which are kept for the public benefit but apart from that we must see these are the properties which are owned by public through the authorities the these authorities are maintained and managed by public authorities and these are used for public purposes and such properties are called as a public properties for example that can be the educational institutions that can be the hospitals government run hospitals that can be roads public gardens etc so though that person has a though a person has a right to enjoy it but he has just limited right in that property so such properties are public properties a person cannot be allowed to dispose the property sell the property for example Taj Mahal nobody can transfer it nobody can sell it or nobody can mortgage it though a, a, a person can visit Taj Mahal he can see it there uh, subject to the terms and conditions uh, with which he is uh, allowed to enter into that premises then we must see second type of property that is private property the properties those properties which are owned by a private person or individuals that person 
own it legally he exercise exclusive rights exclusive bundle of rights over it like right to own right of possession right of enjoyment right of exclusion exclusion means to exclude others from uh, unlawful interfering into that property see even if any person violates that right that person can be prosecuted for the offense of trespass so such properties are called as a private properties that are held for private purpose and even it pro such properties can be disposed by way of sale lease mortgage etc such properties can be called as a private property so friends you must no, the public properties means pub the properties which belongs to public at large and private property means the prop property which belongs to particular private person or the group of individuals. Then we are going to discuss the last kind of property and that is personal property and real property. Friends, personal properties means all those properties that are legally owned by individual or person for his personal use. The form of these properties are goods that he own. See, such properties which are movable and legally owned by him. That properties are not attached to earth. Therefore, the nature of such properties are in the form of goods and etc similar so it includes personal goods intangible movables in the form of such rights for example person can use bank accounts this is also his personal property he can use emails etc this is his personal uh, property then we must see final kind of property that is a real property real property is known or the other uh, or that can be understood in other sense that it is a, a real estate so the properties which are immovable in nature like land building which can be legally owned are called as a real property because uh, we always used to uh, mention any landed properties house properties etc as a real estates so these are these real estates are also called as a real properties so these uh, are called as a real is uh, properties so properties in the form of land house etc that are called as a real properties and the nature of such property is immovable only so friends if you <coughs> go through these kinds you can find the properties are classified on the nature of that property, its tangibility, its corporate or etc. So friends, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to receive the notification relating to my updated legal, legal videos etc. So thank you friends.